Good morning. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> oh, it's good to be here. Good to be together. Yeah, it's been pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> God, I feel emotion. <sighs> yeah, because I wasn't too sure what was going to happen today for the show. Um, a lot's gone on this week. Um, so <laughs> Jason said to me I'd be having a um, public awakening, so it seems to be the way. <laughs> so don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, just started kind of last night. Um, as normal, all week I've been thinking about the show, thinking about what's going on in my mind and um, really maximal healing and what is, um, what is going to be best for the whole really. That's been the prayer to share. And it was interesting with Calico sharing about the rules for decision. That was um, an important part of my week. Like having all my ideas of what the show is going to be and then opening up to something even more than that and saying, OK, maybe there's something that I'm completely missing. So maybe that's where all this um, emotion has come from. That um, often I can think, I can have three good ideas or think that that's my healing. And maybe there's, maybe there's more. And I guess that's what the rules of decision is all about, making no decisions by myself and really being open to the, to the greater plan. Um, and so last night I, um, we'd been in the studio all, all afternoon getting all prepared, which feels wonderful really, it's like how much goes into these shows is amazing, what we all put in, being together in that, just for this moment. And I got home and I started praying into the show again, okay, is there anything else? And it was um, really interesting because it came up about authority. I was talking to my friends and we were talking about authority and I could see like, wow, I've, I'm really not doing what I was doing before. <laughs> I said, wow, I, I saw like any, any job or whatever. <clears throat> I always saw it, okay, that, they're the enemy <clears throat> and I'm obviously against them. That's just as it is. I'm not here, I'm not going to conform to a boss or anyone. I'm not going to be pushed around. So it was always this, I just saw it as a battle, really. In my mind, I thought that was, I thought that was normal. <clears throat> um, and didn't see how much pain that was really causing me. Um, and when you think about it, if it, for me, it wasn't that everything was working for my good. I felt like everything was against me. Um, but what I was discovering this week is the reason why I felt that is because I felt worthless. And um, so I had to push everything away. Um, and I think now it's like with the course, the course is teaching me to accept, to accept my true self, not a self that I made. Um, and so this week seems to be a lot of questioning of beliefs. Um, so I guess that's the prayer really that I'd love us all to join in is just to, just to think about the things that we believe about ourselves that aren't really true when we um, dig a little deeper, including this kind of like authority problem that I that I created. Yeah, just the more we, we go into this a little bit more, we, we find so many things that really aren't true. But we've been telling ourselves these things for a very, very long time. And I had an interesting, um, scenario actually we um we've done an exercise together and we said what do you think your skills are 
that you want to hand over to the Holy Spirit so he can use them for your awakening. And it was really interesting, that word skills. So first of all, I felt, well, actually, I, I haven't actually got any skills because I put this bar up so high that, that it's unattainable. So for instance, I could say, yeah, I was a psychotherapist, but I wasn't Sigmund Freud. I wasn't Carl Jung. I wouldn't say I was up in that level. So was I really skilled? No, I wasn't really that skilled. Um, so I haven't really got any skills in it. I love to DJ. Yeah, I was, I was good, really good. But compared to my heroes, it's like, no, I, I'm, I'm definitely not that skilled. I'm not that consistent, so therefore I'm not really skilled. And what I could see was is that everything that I was doing, I had this bar of comparing myself um, to others and saying, no, I've got, I actually have no skills. And it took the kind of group to say, no, you're good at cooking, you're good at this. And I'm, yeah, but that's not a skill, you know, I can cook. Well, you, you're good at running the teams and you're good at <laughs> Yeah, it's not a skill though, is it? <laughs> and they said, yeah, well, that's what, that's what it's meant by the Holy Spirit to use it. And I thought, wow, how hard I'm being. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just putting this level um, on myself that is completely and utterly unattainable to keep with this worthlessness. So why would I want to take anything on? Why would I want to conform to a seeming authority? Because it's just going to, prove that I'm worthless. Um, so it's kind of easier to rebel against it, play the fool, play the idiot, and not trust. Um, and of course, when you do that, you see distrust. So I would look for the faults in, in the authority and say, well, I'm not gonna trust you, am I? Because you're no better than me. So how am I gonna take what you've got to say about life? You're not that clever yourself. So I'm gonna bring you down to my level which of course is just, it's just paining me. Um, so all of a sudden I start, started looking at this this week and saying, wow, like, look at this, look at, who is, who is the one that's putting these ideas about who I am? Where's it really coming from? Um, and I could see it's just, it's, it's just, a tra just a trap. But yet, just exploring that one word, skills, like I couldn't believe how much it, it, it brought up for me, like, wow, that's what I really believed. And I can feel like something just softened, like, I listened to this talk with David and he said there was this um, girl who um, could not read or write um, very well, um, but she could really hear the Holy Spirit. Um, and then she got the Course in Miracles. And David said, how do you get on with the Course in Miracles? Because it's quite like wordy in places. And she says, I just pray to Jesus and he gives me easier words that I understand. And it's like, wow, like that's just so cool. It's like we have this idea about ourselves that we have to be skilled. Um, we have to learn something. We have to be good at it. We have to show that we're good at it. If you're not good at it, just put on a front and pretend that you're good at it. It's like just, just being, being this self um, to not show the, the, the weakness really. Um, and I thought, wow, that was a beautiful example, this person. Oh yeah, I, I just listened to the Holy Spirit and it tells me things that are much more simple that I can understand. It's like, wow, that's, that's like so cool. It's not an intellectual path. Um, and all these ideas that you have about yourself are completely and utterly not true. We just simply have to listen and follow. And that kind of led me into, okay, so where, 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 where else are my other distractions? And I was thinking about, wow, I really think about the past a lot, whether it be something good or maybe something to shame myself with, creating more low self-worth. Um, so, oh, that was a good experience when we went out yesterday. It's just, okay, I'm just not in the present moment with God. I'm not listening to the Holy Spirit now. I'm thinking about a nice experience. And often we can see ourselves getting caught up in, in just drifting along. So it kind of got me interested in, okay, how much, 
how much time is my mind really drifting off into these little things that some, some can be nice, some can be shameful. And yes, there's a helpfulness to that as well. If it's to be forgiven, it's all to be forgiven. It's all just a story to be forgiven. So if things are coming up, they're coming up for a reason. And equally, this need not be too. I don't have to believe in them. I don't have to go along the storyline um, in being me. Yeah, and I think that's... Uh, Yeah, so it, very, it really seems like these beliefs are very, very important to, to release. And even this week, actually, we were, we were talking about um, being like peacekeepers and uh, doing the right thing um, and being in situations where it's seemingly quite, quite angry. And I thought, I always felt a lot of shame through violence and whatever. And I just thought like, and then people were talking about situations in which they were trying to keep the peace because there were two angry sides. You know, there's always that politics, whatever, there's always an element of anger underneath it or whether you're throwing punches or not. It's like there's this anger that everybody's trying to maintain. And I could see like, we're all just trying to cope with dealing with our beliefs, with our fears, with our, with our thoughts about what's going on. And we become so, um, what's the word? It becomes so familiar just to be in a circumstance that is not feeling really good. The tension in the air is high. It just becomes like normal. It's a little bit like what Calico in Calico show was talking about. It's like, weren't really told that I could have the peace of God. Um, and it's natural to, to feel peaceful and to feel loving. And we can, all, we can all know of times when we've tried to be a peacekeeper or we felt angry or whatever, and then we felt like the shame around, around that. And often it seems to come back to this personal self who has done something wrong, spoke out of turn, behavior wasn't right, this attitude wasn't right, and therefore I'm going, to I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to use it as the gospel as if this is really me. And some people never let go of that all of their lives. And thank God we have this process whereby we can be continuously releasing that. And it was like in this moment of everybody sharing their different experiences which were different of mine, I thought, wow, it's none of it, none of it is different at all. It's all fear, it's all guilt, it's all upset, um, and whether whatever your actions are, they are just the best that you can do in that moment to, to relieve yourself of this anxiety, this um, devastation really, that if we're in the world, we're living in, a, in devastation. And somehow something started just to ease away from being me. I thought, wow, like this is just normal things that happen in the world. And yet I am the one that's whipping myself and I'm believing that to be me. And so last night, um, when I got back in, I was just sitting on my bed and I was just like praying and all of a sudden this sort of emotion was coming up and it was like, all I kept hearing was the word pride, pride, and then feeling mm, really not good. So I just literally, okay, and um, I was kind of in a split because it's like this healing was happening and I was thinking, oh no, but I've got to um, prepare for the show. So this is the first time I actually have really no quotes or nothing from the book. I'm like, oh, now I've got to move in this direction. And each time I try to move to find some course quotes or build a better idea of what I was wanting to talk about, the anxiety would come up and it's like, okay, let's just go back this way and hear this word pride. And these feelings have just coming over me. I never really had any um, thoughts um, going with this pride. Um, but it was just like the word that was coming in. 
and it was just allowing that just to wash over me and just continuing to, to, to surrender. Yeah, and I just felt like, wow, I've really been holding on to this person for some time now, the, these beliefs. Um, and I don't feel I need to do it any longer. I don't feel I need to try and be someone. Don't feel I need to prove anything any longer. I can just be. <sighs> yeah, I can just see all this pressure. Like this need not be. And I felt like like coming on the show, it's like, no, you've got to you've got to give something. But the best I can really do is just give up, let go. That's what I'm here to give today. Just because I'm here, I have nothing to prove. <sighs> and it's just going to look what it's going to look like. I don't need to know. I don't need to know what this is for. Because it was interesting, because all week when I go to plan the show, nothing was coming, but I just felt very peaceful. And so I was just staying with that. Yeah, I know that I'm being cared for. I really know it. That it's not in the words. It's not in really anything I do. It's about knowing. And just knowing that you have that Connection is everything. Yeah, just the, the thought was coming into my mind, just letting all things be exactly as they are. I feel like that's what this, this week's really been that I think I'm being showed that I'm much more cared for than I imagined. (sighs) (sighs) 
Oh, damn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a lot of expressions. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, thank you for um, <laughs> allowing me <laughs> and being with me. These times are so precious. I just love being with you all on these days. It just feels so important just to feel connected. <laughs> and it's like for so long I yearn for that connection and then Sometimes when I hear that word connection, I, I feel fear and don't want to connect. Uh, but yeah, it just feels good just to really be together. Oh. Yeah, I actually read last night, there was one thing that he said. He said, the only thing you need to give Christ. <sighs> the only thing you need to give to your brother is full appreciation. Maybe we can just join in that, just appreciating one another. Yeah, so I appreciate these opportunities to be together. It really is pushing me to let go. Yeah, maybe I'll just read that section for us all. Let all things be exactly as they are. If I can. Let all things be exactly as they are. Let me not be your critic, Lord, today and judge against you. Let me not attempt to interfere with your creation. And store it into sticky forms. Let me be willing to withdraw my wishes from its unity and thus to let it be as you created it. For thus will I be able 
to, to recognize myself as you created me. In love was I created, and in love will I remain forever. What can frighten me when I let all things be exactly as they are? Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm pretty blank now, so I think I'm, I'm going to end a little earlier. Um, but yeah, I just feel so grateful. So, so grateful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Many blessings. <laughs>